Um, I mean, technology does have impact in our life full stop in everything that we do, the way we work, the way we communicate, the way we commute. Um, and I think crime and offending is no exception. Whether you're a techno-skeptic or techno-utopian, you can see that impact and we need to engage with it. And the reason I think we need to engage with it is because if we don't, my fear is that we're going to keep seeing the development of technologies in the future that will potentially be more harmful than the issue that we're trying to address. So, in other words, these techno-social digital futures that, that have been told that we need to follow in the space of crime and offending um, are not necessarily that beneficial. You know, think about, for example, predictive policing. Um, we see some of the negative impacts and disproportional impact of these technologies on, on groups of people, such as uh, racial and ethnic minorities. So we need different approach there in this space. It's a very complex, multifaceted issue. But if we don't find a different way, if we just follow lag behind of the digital innovation, we might find ourselves in a, in a, in a, big, in a big trouble in the future.